Hey everyone, uh, Andrig with Andrig's Air Cool Technology. Just wanted to do a quick announcement. Uh, the Evolution 2 cooling system is going to be available just in a little while today, later today. So it's just a quick announcement and a quick tour of the components of that. It's all assembled here. Just gonna pick it up, uh, see what you get. And of course the alternator is not included, but you get the fan shroud, obviously the the inlet which doubles as your backing plate, your alternator goes to that. The the, the fan in here, um, as you can as you can hope kinda it's so dark with everything being black that you might not be able to see it that well, but uh, but it's in there obviously the fan's in there. Uh, we'll show it to you maybe from the bottom here. Um, you can see fan in there. You know, uh, pulls air from both sides. The other thing is there are proper throttle tube seals on this, as you can see here. And you know, this prototype fan shroud's pretty rough from from me putting it together. Um, the production ones will be a, a little cleaner, uh, but obviously where I grind welds and stuff, um, there'll be some low spots and, and that kind of thing. Uh, that are there so if you paint you'll want to use a good quality body filler that can take under hood temperatures and 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 do that just get things nice and smooth and and pretty before you paint or you'll just see all the scratch marks and and uh, kind of low spots um, if you're going to powder coat there is um, uh, fillers that can take powder coat as well, because um, obviously a lot of people like to powder coat because it's it's more durable than paint. But uh, depending on what you're wanting to do uh, there, you can definitely do that. Um, but yes, just use a good quality uh, filler, uh, either one that is compatible with um, powder coating. Uh, so it's going to have to be able to take temperatures like 450 uh, degrees, the the filler itself, without cracking or. Or, or coming loose so that's the that's the key and there's some on the market for that so um, so look for those and uh, this will be available like I said on the website later today I'm really excited to get going on this and uh, start making these for you again it's build to order so as soon as you place an order you'll go into the into the queue and I'll start manufacturing the fan shroud printing the fan and the and the uh, the inlet uh, you will notice too if you watched any of my previous videos, that the inlet is different now uh, than it was before. Uh, used to have a kind of traditional velocity stack on the front of it, which is perfectly fine, uh, but it would not clear uh, the twist style linkage, uh, and obviously wouldn't work with uh, the Jeanberg linkage. It worked with crossbar linkage just fine, but that was it. So. Um, so I kind of had a little brainstorm when I was uh, trying to get the linkages, you know, to work. I was I was doing some things to like make some clearance in it, you know, for the various linkages. But then I'm like, well, I'm going to end up with like three or four different versions of this inlet if I have to do that for the different linkages. So so instead of doing that, I went to this low profile style of velocity stack for the inlet. Um, this is something that I kind of discovered maybe, you know, three years ago. Um, and they flow uh, virtually the same as uh, a traditional style looking velocity stack, um, but they're very low. So, so this solved the linkage problems. And the only uh, caveat that I have is the uh, Jeanberg linkage still requires this to be different. Um, and that will, you know, cost a little bit extra, not just, not because this is different that's not that's a that's a pretty minor point, but just because of the way it mounts. So because it uses the top two bolts here, you know, of course it comes kits comes with it really. It uses the coil mount um, nut essentially that's over here as well. So I will add that for that linkage so you have all three proper, and it does require a spacer to sit behind that that is the same either the same thickness. As, as this right here, which is two and a half millimeters thick on the edges, um, or a, depending on whether or not you also want the full coil mount, the stock coil mount, because um, you're gonna have a piece that's gonna slide under there, um, then you'll have uh, a different thickness spacer for that. 
those options will be in drop downs on the store when you when you check out so make sure you select which linkage you're using and if you're using the Jeanberg one and if you want the coil mount um, and if you want the coil mount I will just add the two uh, holes in and nuts welded in here in the exact location as stock I have templates that um, that I'll use to direct exactly where those things go these are these are the templates so I can I can screw the template on to the fan shroud mark where the where the third hole should be this is the top uh, essentially I don't know if you can really see that but mark it right here that'll be the top of the coil mount and then once I've drilled and put that nut in place I have this template that then aligns up with that screw that in play uh, uh, right here actually screw that in place along with the other one and then this gives me the the spot where uh, the uh, second part of the coil mount screw goes and nut so that will get holes will be put in and, and welded in place uh, for mounting a stock coil bracket so um, so if you're that's something you want that I'm not charging extra for um, it's just a little extra couple extra holes couple extra welds so um, to do that so if you want that mount otherwise it'll just come flat with nothing on it and you can do whatever you want in terms of where you want to put your coil and, and depending what kind of coil you have if you're running fuel injection and you have a coil pack or you know those kind of things it all varies and there's a, a variety of uh, alternative mounts uh, and of course you could make one as well and if there's any interest in people wanting a particular mount uh, from me then um, you know if there's enough interest in that I'll I'll, I'll make um, I can make one uh, for you um, I do have uh, one at least designed um, but it requires you to not have the stock fuel pump um, so um, so that's an interesting design but uh, I could do other uh, approaches as well so just uh, let me know if that's something that you'd really like to see if not I'll just right now have the option for the stock coil bracket uh, to mount on there in the exact stock location, same angle. Um, your 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 existing coil wire should be long enough to reach a distributor if 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 you're running a distributor, that kind of thing. So um, so we're ready to go, and uh, I really appreciate the interest. I really appreciate all the support that I've gotten, and uh, you know if you're interested in that Evolution Two cooling system, available very soon, um, probably within the next few hours. Thank you so much. And we'll talk later. Bye-bye.